They're about to die. We've had some heart-to-heart talks. And it was a God thing that I had just read something because he said to me, and I know this is repeated, but he said, I said, you just got to keep praying, man. You got to keep praying. He said, Brother Booker, that's part of my problem. I've never been strong in prayer. He said, I just, I don't know, I never got the knack. It was so easy for other people, but I couldn't get in sync. I couldn't go with the flow. I just, you know, he said, I could follow a list and this and that. But he said, there was a few times my heart got in it. But he said, here I am facing death's door and I can't even really pray. And I said, I just read a story. Put that chair right here. I said, a pastor went into a man in his church. He's on what turned out to be his deathbed. And he went through the same conversation. So the pastor had put a chair by his bed he said do you see this chair he said yes he said Jesus is in that chair he fills the universe but Jesus is right there and I want you every time you see that chair and many times through the day I want you to just start everything you just told me you tell him Jesus I'm sorry I've never been able to talk to you like I want to I don't know what the problem was I really do know you're in the chair I mean right now I'm a very sick man and I'm a little scared And I need to get closer to you. And the pastor would come in and say, how you doing? He said, well, I'm actually doing better. I've been talking to the man in the chair. And I called my friend the other day. And I said, how are you doing? He said, well, I've been talking to the man in the chair. Well, in... The story, it wasn't a story, it's a true story. The man passed away. And the lady that was in the church called the pastor first. The children were out of town. His wife was dead. And said, called his name, said, he's gone. I'm fixing to call everybody. It's going to be a while before they can get here. But I knew you'd want it. And he came. So she came. He came. And the man was laying on the bed like this. She said, Pastor, you know, I didn't find him like that. He said, what do you mean? He said, it was really strange. When I came into the room, he was halfway out of the bed and he was draped over the chair. And that's the way I found him. So I lifted him up and I put him like this. It's not too late to start talking to the man in the chair. It's not too late to start to get to know him. In the fellowship of his suffering. To know him in his word, in his ways, in his spirit. Let's stand. We get our senses exercised. This is simple. We we become familiar with our Bibles. We read it. 